Allie Borealis here. Welcome to my channel and thanks for subscribing. This video is really for my Canadian viewers. I hear so often that people can't get jewelry jars and jewelry bags in Canada. And I visited Vancouver for the very first time. It was my first time in Canada. And I scored this jewelry bag on my second day there. I'm gonna tell you exactly where I got it from. But first I wanna share with my viewers in the States who are going to Canada thrifting that there is a price conversion and it does work in our favor. Let me show you. This bag was priced at $49.99. With tax, I paid $53.49. And I charged it on my credit card. And then we were noticing when we were looking at our credit card statements that there was a conversion that was automatically taken. So, so my credit card was actually charged $40.67 in US dollar. So there's a decent conversion. So the prices that you're seeing are actually less with the conversion. So I popped into one of the Salvation Army thrift stores. I'll show you which location. And I was just going through their jewelry on the counter and the lady from the back put this bag down. And the woman that was helping me said, hey, you're looking for jewelry. Do you want this bag? And it really just fell into my lap. She said, people do come in and ask for these bags and they do get them every now and again, they'll put one together. So I was at the location on Lonsdale Avenue in North Vancouver. Let's go ahead and open it and see what we have. I don't know if you all saw my video on getting through the TSA with this. I was really nervous about taking this home on a flight. Hmm, we already have some pretty earrings. The top of the bunch. These are very new, never been opened. Little uh, rhinestone earrings, brand new. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Oh, there are, I thought it was mostly crafts, but I'm seeing there are some uh, bits and pieces here. Wow, there are some bits and pieces here that are wearable. That's a really pretty rhinestone necklace. Oh, let's get you on camera here. I don't see any brand markings on it. It appears to have all of the rhinestones intact on it. If you're getting that, that little dangle, okay. Yeah, it looks like it's in good condition. It's interesting because it alternates gold and silver. So it can really go with anything because it has both colors. Now, if I do a measurement on it way down to the end of the pendant, it looks like it measures about 9.25, I would say, 9.25 inches. You know, I actually pulled these out because I wanted to take a closer look at them, and they are missing a stone here. So I'm going to just put these in crafts for anybody that wants those. Next, we have this pair of earrings. I'm pleased, really, so far because... I didn't think we were going to have a whole lot of wearable in this bag, but it seems like we do. So we just have a little pair of dangle earrings. They're not real gemstones. We have those that have some uh, rhinestone at the top there. We have this pretty one. That does have an open back. Let me check it out real quick. There's a very slight magnetic to that. Yeah. And I want to use my tester and just see if that's a real gemstone. No, that's glass. That, it's not even moving. Okay. It's pretty though, and I hope we have a pair on that, a match. You know, a lot of this jewelry looks like uh, it's India style. Oh, this is an earring too. How fancy. How fancy is that one? So this goes in the ear and then this hooks to something, but I don't know enough about jewelry from India unless it looped that way. Maybe it goes like that. 
I don't know. I don't know enough about jewelry from India to know what that would hook to. So we have that one. We'll put that on the singles and see if we have a match on that one. Here's another single. This almost looks like it might match the necklace. They're very similar. And they both have that dangle. I think it does match the necklace, but let's see if we have the other earring and then this could be a set. Oh, we have a set here. This right here, wow, that's very pretty. We have that necklace and then these earrings that go with it. So we do have a set here. I do want to test it. I don't think this is Jade, but I'm just going to take a little peek and let's see if it registers anything, but that's a really pretty set. Oh my Lord, it is moving. That is Jade. That is real Jade. Wow. What a surprise. I'm sure the earrings are the same. Let's see. Yes, they used real. <laughs> okay. Nice. I I didn't I wasn't guessing that that was Jade considering this isn't any kind of a precious metal. Um No markings on the back. Wow, how special is that? Oh, I see, it's a slide. But you know what, if you didn't wanna do this rope, you could easily put a, a nice chain on there. And gosh, this is so beautiful. Like these earrings alone are just gorgeous. Let me see what the measurement is on that. That's like two inches. So we have this beautiful carved jade set. Earrings and a carved jade necklace. For the jade lovers, I don't see any missing rhinestones. How special. Yay on that one. These are fancy. Look how fancy that is. I scored. These are singles. These also look uh, like they're uh, Indian. We'll see if we have matches. There's a ring that's tangled. We have some tangles. I think that's always a good thing. This is trash right there. I think tangles are a good thing because I, I feel like they just don't want to untangle them sometimes. And then sometimes there's uh, actually valuable pieces in stuff that they just don't want to entangle. Well, this obviously, because it's adjustable, is not going to probably be precious metals, but let's see. No. I wonder if there's any marks on that ring. Oh, fascinating. That is a Sarah Coventry ring. We'll score on that one. I tried to find the name on this ring or the year it was made, and I just didn't see anything that matched it that was Sarah Coventry. Okay, this nice little Sarah Coventry ring measures a size six. And, uh, oh no, it actually, well, you know what it is? It's adjustable. So it's like a six and a half, but you can squeeze it to, down to other sizes. See the adjustability of it right there? So very cute Sarah Coventry ring. And uh, this is a magnet. That's why this is all bound to that. That's trash. Wow, it's shedding. This is crafts because um, it's broken. We have some singles over here. This is another uh, India style. Oh, and you know what? It goes with that earring. That's the earring that goes with it. But we, I don't know if we have another earring, but it's very pretty, very chocolatey. I do like this style that goes, it's like a choker style. 
And it's such pretty, like brown, luscious caramel kind of colors happening here. So I'm hoping we have the other earring on that one. Ooh, here's an 80s earring. I, I just, you know, the 80s ear are so nostalgic for me that I'm always excited to see 80s stuff, stuff that I would wear in the 80s, were these enameled style earrings in geometrics and fun colors. And I hope we have a, a match on that one. We have two singles here. Let me get them apart. Here's one kind of chandelier style earring. Let's see if we have a match on that one. And then curious about this one. So I think this is carved bone. You know, it's illegal to sell ivory. And um, but I don't think this is ivory. Ivory has, they say, has cross hatching on it. And bone is more, you can see the little pores on it. And when I turn it over, I can see with my magnification that there are little pores and I don't see cross hatching. I see it like in one direction, but I don't see like a, a, a hatch on it. So I would say that that's carved bone. That's a little craftsy pendant. Um, that's a pen. I don't know what cavet is, but we have a little brochy pen. There's a whole lot in this box. Oh, we have a set. Wow, I am surprised because they had all kinds of jewelry in their case. I'm surprised at the stuff that they didn't put in their case. So this is a beautiful rhinestone set. It's in good clean condition and it has the match the matching earrings to it. Yeah, okay. I see like the India, the jewelry from India is so extravagant. This looks sterling. There's a little bit magnetic down there, but let's check it out. Maybe it's not. No, you know what? It, there's, there's a little magnetic happening here. Very faintly magnetic. So I would say no on that one for sterling. There's a lot in this bag. Five pounds, five pounds. Here's a single earring. No marks on that one. Let's see if we have a pair. This is a, a coach keychain, but it has a lot of rhinestones missing and I don't even know if it's real. I don't, I doubt it. Yeah, I don't know what that is. This is going to crafts. I think this one might be. Oh yeah, yeah. It's stamped 925 ALE. ALE is the Pandora mark and it's named after the father of the founder. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name. Here's another 80s earring. Here's a rhinestone. I think the clasp is still functional. I think these are plastic. Let me get a measurement on it for you. Uh, we'll do about like 10.25 inches. Okay, we have this little bitty pendant. Non-magnetic, it's a little heart pendant. Let me see if it has any markings. I don't see any markings and it doesn't look sterling but it does have all the rhinestones in it. So it's a very cute pendant. Then we have this necklace with these little um, cutouts. I'm just gonna say right now, I took a deep dive into this necklace and found out some interesting information. It has more of a vintage feel to it, but let me see if there's any marks on this, on that clasp. There is a really interesting mark on this clasp. Um, I want to see, this is non-magnetic, so I'm thinking, thinking it might be gold, actually. That clasp is magnetic, but that doesn't mean anything. The rest of it's not, and it does have 
I'll see if I can get a picture of it. It has marks. It has a um, maker's mark on it and some lettering that I can't quite make out. But, you know, when I picked it up, this almost feels gold. It feels rather soft, but maybe it's not. I'll test it. Why don't we test it and see what we have? So there's the mark right there. Let's start with the 14 and let's just see what the 14 does. No, definitely not with the 14. Let's do the 10 here. Let's see what the 10 is going to do. I would say no on that. That doesn't look like it to me. It definitely has marks on it, so it's not this mass-produced piece. It, it feels like these are kind of hand-wrought and was at one time something really special to someone. I took another look at the markings and Googled a little bit, and I finally made it out. It is A.M. Dublé. Spelled double, pronounced Dublé. So this was a process of double plating an item which was created during the Austrian Empire prior to 1865. Then in 1869, Frederick Spidell picked it up and found it the Americaner line of rolled gold jewelry, which later became the Spidell Company. The pieces were nine carat gold, which is probably why my 10 carat acid ate right through it. And they have a base alloy of a silver and copper mixture, which gave it kind of a rose colored tone. And then we have this necklace. It does have a mark on it. It's an 18K um, filled necklace. I'm gonna give a get a measurement on that one. I think it's uh, 13 and a half. It's just a basic gold, kind of older style chain necklace. And then we have this brooch that um, is like a needlepoint style. Clean, you can also wear it as a pendant. Ah, I'm looking at it. It's definitely a real needlepoint. It's not like a like a faux like plastic. It's it's um when I look at it closer, it's definitely somebody took time and did a needlepoint on that one. This is a wooden belt buckle. I looked this one up and this person has an Etsy store called Shan's Design where they make these belt buckles out of rare and exotic woods from all over the world. So I have this interesting little bracelet with all these little guys on it. With abalone inlay. Now the clasp itself is marked sterling. There's a little 925 stamp on it. But when I turn it over, the rest of it has so much wear on it, it's like coppery. So I think the main part of the clasp is sterling, but the rest of it's not. And it has some, it has a little inlay, but yeah, that's way magnetic. So this side of it, the side that you see, it looks like it's in good condition, but the other side of it, there's some wear. It seems like somebody really wore this bracelet and loved it. Very cute. We have a uh, close in a pendant. Look at the caramel colors on that. Has some flower. It looks like almost, um, what are those called? And just a, this might be broken. Somebody's tied this, let's see. You can always take that off there and put it, just put it on a um, different necklace. If this doesn't screw, oh, there it goes. It does screw down. Cherry blossoms. These look like cherry blossoms. So I'll give you a measurement on the pendant. It looks like it's about uh, maybe one and a half, 1.25, somewhere in there. Oh, here's a cute little brooch. All the stones are there. Oh no, it's missing a pearl. Urgh. Oh, but it has, you know, it has like a C-class back here. 
it just needs to be wrought a little bit to make the clasp work and then it's missing that pearl but that seems like an easy replacement it's very vintage this is an interesting earring it looks very old it has some some uh musical um instruments on it and some rhinestones hanging from it i don't see any marks on it but um and i'm trying to decide if there's a stone missing right there it seems like there probably is a stone missing right at the top there unfortunately there's something missing from there um, but it's real pretty and it would make good a good earring for crafts all the little instruments and rhinestones um, filigree so we're gonna put that one in crafts it's very special this is a, a ring let's just get a measurement on that one it looks like it's about a 2.25 two and a half maybe two and a half has pearls on it. It's unusual. Little chain link ring. Here's a scarf clip. We'll probably just put that in crafts. Those aren't even rhinestones, they're painted in the middle. Ooh, look at that pretty rhinestone bracelet. This is a really pretty good box. Not magnetic. Gosh, that's gorgeous. Wow, this has a, a sterling stamp on it. It really needs to be cleaned. And I think I can clean this up very nicely and it will be very pretty. It has a sterling stamp and then it has some initials. The initials say JWBR. I found some eBay listings that attribute JWBR to Jane Seymour, but I haven't been able to verify that anywhere else other than eBay. So I'm going to test this. Gosh, this Canadian bag is really something. Should I just go back to Canada just to get another one of these bags? Let's see what this Presidium, let me get it on camera. Let's see what this Presidium, if we have a gemstone. Oh yeah, look at that. We sure do. We have Spinel. Wow. How beautiful. And I think, are those little chips? Let's see. No, there aren't little, I thought maybe there were little bitty chips in here, but there's not. It's just the way the metal is shaped so that it kind of gives the appearance that you have little chips in there, but not actually. So I cleaned this up a little bit just by soaking it in warm water and dish soap and then kind of giving it a light scrub with a soft bristled brush. And it cleaned up really nicely. I didn't even need to use any of the silver cleaning techniques on it. I think it was just uh, a little more dirty from being worn than anything else. Let's get a bracelet measurement on there. This is uh, 7.25 inches. Winner, winner. That's an, a neat little abstract earring. I don't think that's sterling. But let me just take a peek at it. No. Hope we get a match on that one. Here's a single earring. Oh, that does have a mark, doesn't it? Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's a Chico's. Oh, let's hope we have a match on that. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but it has some AB stones on it. This just says, um, best. What do you, th is that for a keychain? I really don't know. I don't know what you do with this little dangle right here if that's just something to adorn a keychain with, or I don't know, put it around a doorknob. I don't know, what do you do with that? I'm gonna put that in crafts. What else do we have? This is a vintage earring, no marks on it. Little dangles, all the stones are intact. Let's see if we have a match on that one. Here's another little vintage earring clip. No marks. Ooh, this is a pretty brooch. Vintage, like 1950s-ish. It is missing two stones and no mark on it. We have a cuff link. We'll see if we have a match on that cuff link. Wow. This looks um, kind of old, 
filigree. See if there's any marks on it. Oh, I see. This is bent. It needs to just kind of go like that, but um, it's non-magnetic. I do want to just do a little scratch test on it. Definitely handmade. Yep, we do have that foaming up. So we have some silver there. So this is a, a really vintage filigree bracelet. The top is kind of bent, so you would have to have that repaired. But I hesitate just to put that in a scrap bag because it's old, you know, it's old vintage uh, metal work, basically. That's what the back looks like. Uh, let's just get a measurement on it. So it looks like it's resting around the eight mark, maybe. 7.75, eight mark. It has these five different links on it with beadwork. There is a bead missing right there. But it's beautiful if anybody wanted to have it or do any repair work on it. There it is. Oh, we do have a match on these earrings. The ones that I tested for sterling. Pretty almost look like um, blue pearls or something. So yay for a match. I am really surprised at uh, all the goodness that's in here. You know, it is not my experience anymore in the US that you can really go into a thrift store and get one of the on-site uh, bags and that they have this much stuff packed into them. This feels like sterling. Let's see. Oh yeah. It's uh, 925 and it says CHI. I don't know what the CHI is. But let's see if we have a match on that one. Here's a single earring. Magnetic. Single bracelet with enamel on it. It really does amaze me what they chose to put in this bag versus what they chose to put out. The back of that says sturdy. I wonder, yeah, that's a watch clasp. Sometimes these are gold, the watch bands, but I don't think that's gold. I think it's um, costume. I'm gonna put that in crafts. I don't see any other marks on it. Another single, that's a vintage earring. Pendant. This is probably a gold, just a little gold dip pendant. Brass locket, $10 value. It looks broken though, like it's broken off of this. How interesting. Unopened, but it seems like it should be connected over here and it's not. I'm just going to put that in crafts. Single earring. Oh, it does have a brand. Oh, that's a Vendome. Let's see if there's a match on that one. This is a um, kind of brass and enamel pendant. Hmm. This is a hand-painted rock that somebody turned into a brooch. How cute is that? A little whale with a bird. This is a ring. Looks like it has all the stones. Definitely costume. And it looks like it's like a size six and a half ish, 6.2 or three five, something like that. Pretty rhinestone ring. Oh, this is broken. The clasp is broken, but it just looks like a beaded, pretty beads. Pretty beaded uh, bracelet, but that's gonna go in crafts. This is a little ring. Let's see what size it is. It just looks gold tone, 5.5, uh, just a basic little ring. This is a heavy glass necklace with really pretty 
glass beads. Glass alternating with um these are also crystal little glass crystal beads. Very, very, very lovely. If you like wearing greens and that that kind of color. <clears throat> this is what the clasp looks like. <clears throat> and I'm gonna get a measurement. It's a long, it's a long necklace, so let me just measure it out for you. <clears throat> I'm not going to be able to fit it all on camera. It looks like it's a 20 inch and then um, it's a 20 inch and then you have this little extender that's an additional three and a half inches. Gorgeous though. It looks like it's in good, clean, wearable condition. Oh, here's a very tangled necklace, but there's a brand on it. I'm curious about the brand. Oh, what does that say? It's a multi-strand. It does need a little bit of detangling. It has these little purple um, fixed beads on it. Pretty purple colors. It's a very long necklace, so I'll give you a measurement on it. It's just a double strand. So one has the beads on it, the other one doesn't. Let me measure it out for you. And it's a long 20 and a half inches. This is a pretty little bookmark. I don't see any um, stamp on it, but it's a beautiful bookmark. It has like a iridescent kind of marble cabochon on it. Do you want a measurement on that? That is like 2.25 inches. Beautiful. Oh, here's another cuff link. We'll wait to find a match on that one. Oh, this is a like a thermoset. No marks on that one, but let's see if we have a match. Hmm, this looks, if I had to guess, sterling and made in Mexico. But let's see if I'm correct. And I totally am. It is. It's just that style. I sure hope we have a match on this one. We'll see. Oh, that has a, is that Chico's? No, this is a, that says Butler. So let's hope we have a match on that. I love having matches on branded stuff. That's a pretty earring. Mm, that's a pretty enamel, single earring. Here's this necklace. Let me investigate this a little bit. Oh, it's definitely magnetic. It's made in Korea, but it's a pretty uh, gold tone necklace with um, a nice little, little link to it. I like it's unusual. The links are unusual, but let's measure it out. That is um, like seven, uh, let's say 7.35 inches for that little gold necklace. Here's a linked bracelet. Oh, that's very magnetic. We have a seven and a half. It looks like maybe, I don't know if that was the original clasp on it. it. The clasp looks like it's a slightly different color than the rest of the bracelet. But it's uh, it's very pretty. Mm. I think that's missing a stone. It does have some marks on it. Oh, it has a magnetic clasp. It actually doesn't have marks. It's just the way the metal is. But it's missing a stone right there. So I'm uh, going to put that in crafts. Oh, we have the other earring to that set that we were looking at. So this is a complete set. And we have these earrings that go with it. I'm not understanding what that extra piece goes to unless it hooks to something at the top of the ear or a ring in the nose. Or you can remove that and just have a, a pair without that piece on it. Um, but it's it there. It's a real pretty set. Very fancy. Very fancy. Lots of movement. Love this necklace. Oh, that's interesting. 
This is an older style earring, an older earring, and um, this is stamped sterling. So I really hope we have a match on that. I think that's plastic though. I don't think that's glass. It feels plastic, which is odd to have this sterling back and not, not necessarily a glass front. But let's hope we have another one. Put that in my sterling pile. Single earring as well. That feels like, that doesn't feel like natural stone. It looks like um, malachite but it, it's not natural stone. I can tell, just tell by feeling it. Here's a heart with a stamp, the Variety Club. Here's a little ram's head. That would be great for a Taurus. Maybe that's a goat's head and it would be great for a Capricorn. I do have these two. They don't match, but I'm curious to look at the backs of them. That one's definitely costume. And let's take a peek at this one. Both the back of that one and the clasp are stamped 925. It looks like it's got something, like it needs to be cleaned, like it has a rhinestone wedged in there or something. I'll have to look at it. Um, Non-magnetic. Oh, look at that big stone. I know that's not, let's, let's just see. Yeah, that's just uh, crystal. I hope we have the match on that one. I'm gonna put that in the sterling pile. This is a pretty little earring and it's a single. And let's see if we have a match on that. Oh, we do have a match on these, these little 80s enameled earrings. We don't have any marks. You know what, they're in really good condition. They don't have any wear on the enamel. Sometimes they will have like little scratches and wear. Uh, but nowhere on that and uh, these are about what do we say on that one almost two inches they're pretty long so yay we have a match here is Ross miniatures treasure house I think it's a miniature table and chair set it's it almost looks like kind of the wrought iron style heavy chairs that you that are on like the back patio maybe has a little net table cute <laughs> we have a little toy horse head how cute is that no marks but i think that's going to be craftsy oh we have a match i think i think we got this earring early on didn't we Oh yeah, we do. We do have that earring. Okay, here's a pair right there. These are also little enamel, pretty colors. Needs to be cleaned a little bit. And uh, both have backs on them. Here's a pen. It, it does have a little bend in it. Sometimes these pins are gold. So I just want to check this one really well. Nope. And it's magnetic. Little W. Oh, the, these were the Chico earrings that I saw earlier. We do have a pair. Where did it go? Wow. It looks like all the stones are there and it has these little dangles happening. There are more Chico's on the back. It's a nice little pair of earrings. Here's another heart brooch from the Variety Club. There are two different ones. Here's a second one. I do have a match on this pair of earrings, but the other one has a missing rhinestone. So I'm just gonna put these in crafts. Let's see what all this is. This is a ring, but it's missing a stone. It is not magnetic. Let me see if it has any marks. It doesn't necessarily look sterling, but let me, I'll test it out. And uh, this is slightly magnetic. It's a square shaped bracelet. And I don't see any marks on this bracelet, but um, I like it. It's unique. It's a unique uh, geometric shape. It is like 8, point, 8, 8 and uh, 0.25, I'm going to say on that one. Let's scratch this one out just to test. No, that's not sterling. I was thinking it probably wasn't. We do have a match on this one. Let me find it. This is the one I looked at earlier. You know what, we don't have a match because these are two different sizes. 
They look like they're they're constructed the same, but they're two different stone sizes. So we're gonna have to wait on that. Here's a Dr. Seuss earring. This looks old. Uh, let's see if we have a match, hopefully. Single earring. I feel like we have the match on that one. We sure do. Look at that. Little pair of dangles. No brand on that one. Oh, look at that. We do have the match on the sterling pair, the pair with the sterling backs. And when I look at this, there's a tiny maker's mark. It says sterling around the circle, and the mark looks like a capital G with an arrow through it. I posted the mark to one of my Facebook jewelry identification groups, and they came back with this. R.L. Griffith and Sons Company, established in 1879, and it looks like the latest they made jewelry was in 1950. So these are pre-1950 earrings. Uh, we have these for piercing ears, it looks like. This is a copper earring. Let's see if it has anything. No, no brand on that one, but let's see if we have a match on that. Here's Lotus and Luna little bracelet. Looks new. Handcraft it with love. Pretty little beads. Supporting artisans in Thailand. Here's a hair. We get a lot of hair stuff. Ooh, this looks very vintage. I really hope we have a match on that one. Let's take a peek at that. Okay, I don't really understand what's happening here. It's a zipper, right? It's a little zipper, but there's no way to attach it to anything. Love, and it has some initials, and then it has the letter J right here. All right, I might put that in crafts because it doesn't have anything on the back that you could actually put it on. It's unique. Oh, here's another bracelet. They go together. Look, there's two of them. Ooh, look at this very large Lucite bracelet. Wow, how fabulous is that? I'm going to do a measurement on that. It looks like the bottom line's hitting like um, eight and a quarter. Here's a little hair accessory. Here's a slide bracelet that doesn't slide very easily, but it's it do, it's slightly magnetic. Let's get a measurement on that one. That is like eight and a half, eight and a quarter with some little bells on it. Okay, so I did find a match to these earrings. They're stamped 925 and then CHI. So if anybody recognizes that mark, put it in the comments. They're cute little, very modern sterling dangles. We are doing total about two inches. I found a pair on these, a match on these, little enamels. These are unbranded, very cute. I saw this, but I think it's broken in the back. It used to be maybe a brooch and it was stamped Aldo, maybe a brooch. I don't know. I didn't know Aldo sold brooches, but uh, I don't know. That was off of something, but it's broken. I also have this brooch that's unmarked. And you know, there was one earring we pulled out when we first started the box. And I'm hoping I can find the second earring, but um, if not, we have the brooch and one earring. I have a lot of hair stuff, so this is a really pretty uh, barrette. If anyone's interested in a pretty barrette. Um, I have this fancy earring, vintage. Stamped Western Germany. Hoping I have a match on that. I do have a match on these red ones. They're little clip-ons, no brand on them. 
but you have a like a pretty little bead going on right there they're gorgeous vintage earrings you know they they don't always make them like this anymore very festive what else we have we have this Vicky bracelet if your name's Vicky has a little lucite on there um, with some rhinestones we have this bracelet that's not metallic that's not um, magnetic I don't think it's sterling but because it's not magnetic I'm just gonna scratch it no that's not sterling I didn't think it was but it's a cute cuff style bracelet with uh, three black I think these might be I don't think they're natural let's see no they're just like kind of plastic filled but it's a cute cuff bracelet it's small though but I think you can probably expand it right now it's measuring like seven down to the seven. Oh, I saw this on the bag this interesting kind of man in the moon earring let me see if it's magnetic oh it is I was hoping that one was gonna be sterling but it's definitely magnetic it would make a great dreamy kind of crafts though no marks on that one we have this one that I'm curious about this does have a mark it's a tax co mark which is that city in Mexico that makes so much jewelry which has me wonder if if these are sterling they make a lot of sterling jewelry this particular city so this looks like copper I can't imagine that's gold but um this might be sterling let me see if I can just rub that little one okay I got a little nub right there just right there let's see what it's gonna do no that's not that's not sterling but it's a pretty um almost kind of 1970s is what it reminds me of and uh, the that city in Mexico is known for their jewelry making so you know you're getting a kind of a quality handmade piece let's see what it measures here well the lowest part is like 7.25 ish here's a brooch does that have the mark on it no this looks kind of like a pot metal brooch but it doesn't it's not missing any stones this is another I have so many hair things another uh, old style hair clip with some uh, gold leafing metal that's metal oh here's a, a heart pendant oh that might be sterling that feels like sterling it's very smooth let me take a peek at it okay it's stamped 900 which is silver but 925 is sterling but this seems like it's silver it's not magnetic I think these are gemstones that uh, all these things have little holes in the back it has some other marks too like maybe the maker's mark let's see let's see what this presidium might show us if we can do it right here on the camera without touching the metal let's see oh it does go up a little bit maybe these are garnets Ooh, that means I'm touching the metal that beeping oh that now that went up to Ruby I think these might be rubies rubies yes I retested these a couple days later and I could not get it to replicate ruby again it kept giving me garnet so I think these are actually garnets I am curious about the 900 I might have to clean it a little bit better and look at that mark a little bit better these are the before pictures you can see where the mark is and you can hardly read it and then I did a silver cleaning on it with the baking soda method which I'll have to do a video on sometimes and show you and the mark came to life it turns out to be a Czechoslovakian mark the 900 for the silver content the G2 I read is a, for a particular grade of garnets the cute little bunny head denotes that it's Bohemian Czechoslovakian made and the three indicates it's 1963 or later and we're measuring an inch and a quarter on this one here is um 
like a thermoset. Let's see what that mark says. This is a Coro. Would love to have a match on that. A little clip back. Oh, look at that brooch. Wow, that's pretty. Has some AB stones and like some little, little moonstone colored ones. That's what the back looks like. It does have a little bit of verdigris, but you can clean that up because it's a very pretty brooch. Uh oh, we have these two little bracelets. Let's see if they have any marks on them. Well, let's do the magnet. Non-magnetic. Okay, this one feels like it might be sterling. Oh, there's a mark right there. Oh yeah, it has an old sterling mark. So in 1973, the 925 mark became approved for use as sterling. So usually if it's marked sterling and not 925, it's an older piece. It's a little out of shape, but we can make that go right. I did look up this mark and it belongs to Burkhart Jewelers Limited of Toronto, Canada. And then at some point that company was bought out by Burks, which is also a Canadian company. It's like eight and a half on that one. And then let's see about this other one. Let's see if there's any marks. I don't see any marks on that, but I do want to test it because it's non-magnetic. No, that's not sterling. Here's another like Lucite barrette. What does that say on it? Oh, how pretty. That says France. I'll have to look into that more. Sometimes French hair barrettes sell for like $20. So check your barrettes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Here's another barrette. Looks kind of 1960s-ish. That's fun though. Fun and festive. Here's an owl necklace pendant. I don't see any marks on that one. And uh, yeah, that doesn't look sterling, but that's a fun little owl pendant. Oh, these are the copper leaf earrings that I was seeing um, when I was looking through the bag. They do have some, a little bit of um, discoloration, but I wonder if you can clean those up. I don't see any marks on them at all, unfortunately. They go this way. They don't hang down. They go up. They go up your ear. Oh, maybe like that. Oh, those are really neat. If you like copper jewelry. All right. We have this humongous feather. <laughs> it, it is open on the end there. Um, it doesn't have any marks on it. I don't even know what you do with this feather. If you had like a pin in there or something. Uh, I do want to test it because um, it's not magnetic, but I am doubting this is sterling, but let's just see. I would be shocked if that was sterling, but I don't think it is. That would be a very large piece of sterling. No, I'm going to put that in crafts unless somebody wants, wants that very large feather. A vintage bracelet. This is in decent shape. I don't see any marks on it. And I do want to say, this is not a Juliana bracelet. I do want to say that. Um, it is a link bracelet and Juliana does have link bracelets, but they have the five link bracelet and this is not the five link bracelet. So, but it's actually in decent condition. That's like a size seven. These are interesting. These are cufflinks. They look very artsy. Let me see. I don't think there's any marks on them, but there almost should be marks on them, you know? No, no marks. I wish that somebody had uh, had branded those. They're so unique. And we have this pair of earrings. Little green kind of uh, half ball earrings. They look very vintage. Oh, here's, here's the... Um, Remember those? Yeah. These aren't sterling. Yeah, these are way magnetic, but it's a it's a pair of kind of uh, crystal earrings. They're very large. We have this whole like collection of single earrings on here. 
that I don't think I've come across any pears yet. That's really vintage, very pearly. And that one, I like to look at the backs because sometimes the backs will just tell us more than the fronts. That is not sterling or gold. And I don't think we have any match on that. Blue heart. This has a, um, no. That's just a costume, little red button, no match. Let's see what this one is. That little apple, I wonder, no. I thought maybe that was natural stone, but it doesn't feel like it. And uh, let me see what the back of this one looks like. I thought it was sterling, but it's not sterling. Oh, this has a mark on it. Hmm, that does say 925. I don't think we have a match on it, but um, let's see what the Presidium says. No, I think that's glass, but the... It's marked 925, so at the base of it's sterling. The surround is sterling. It's very pretty. I wish we had a match on that one. Ooh, this is a pretty little butterfly. I think that's a little butterfly. Or maybe it goes that way. Maybe it's like a little angel. At any rate, let's see what it looks like on the back. Gosh, it's very fancy. I don't know if that's the original back because the the earring's silver and this back is gold tone. So I don't think that's the original back. But um, you know what? I'm gonna start with testing the gemstones to see if we have anything. Oh yes, we do. That is an amethyst. Are these diamonds? I can't imagine those are diamonds. No. So those are amethyst, the little, these little ones. And then I'm gonna scratch it for sterling and see what we have. Yeah, that's foamed up, that's blue. So we have a little sterling right there with some uh, amethyst. I hope we have a match. We have these little enamel ones from the 80s, maybe. Very cute. Oh, there's still one on here. Let's see. That's trash. Oh. Hmm. Let me check it out. No brand. I don't think that's sterling. It's got a big base, but I don't think that's sterling. And I don't think that's a natural stone. It feels like it's plastic. We have this um, kind of dragon pendant with, I wonder if that's jade. It doesn't feel like jade. It feels like it might be plastic, but I could be surprised. Yeah, that's not moving. That's just a, a, like a costumey pendant with a dragon on it. We have this um, cross crucifix. That looks like it's a faux um, mother of pearl. Pretty large. Let me give you a measurement on that. Three inches. Ooh, we have another little. Is this a French barrette? Another barrette? No, that one doesn't say France. Here's a bracelet with some pearls on it. Give a measurement on that one. That is about seven and a half inches. We have this bracelet, like coppery colors. Stretch, this is a stretch one. Oh, here's one in the bag, made in Thailand. It doesn't have a brand on it. Oh, maybe it does. C-L-U-S-E, I've never heard of that, but it's new in the bag. Hmm. Oh, here's another bread. <laughs> this is like a bobby pin, but it's a kind of a lucite. Pretty. Here's a kind of like a hammered 
sun. Oh, it does have a, oh, it's a JJ. Oh, that's very pretty, JJ. I need to wipe it down a little bit, but. It says JJ right there. A little gold etched bracelet. I don't think it has any marks on it. Let's see. No, I can't imagine this is real gold. Oh my gosh, it is 10 carat. That says that does have a mark on it. Wait a second. Yes, it does have a 10 carat mark. It says BY10K. Wow, wow. Good box. Let me scratch this out. Let's just get the 10 carat out. It looks like it's staying. That measures to eight and a quarter, I think. Oh, no, it's not, you can't see it, but it comes down to eight and a quarter. Wow, oh yeah, 10 carat, for sure, for sure. Wow. I wish I could go back to Vancouver <laughs> and get another one of these bags. Wow, it turned out, this is really great. How beautiful and delicate. 10 carat. We have this pair of earrings. Oh, that's interesting. It's like gold on one side and silver toned on the other. Little clips, but no marks on them. This is an interesting bracelet. I don't think I've ever seen a bracelet quite like that before. Clamper style. I don't see any signature. It's enameled. Okay, the bottom of that meets up kind of like around the 7.35 mark. I think this is super modern. I don't know if it's supposed to be slightly offset. It, I think it has just a little bit of wear right there, but I, this is a fabulous bracelet. I'm liking it. This is an interesting earring. Let me see, that might be sterling. I don't see any marks on it. It is non-magnetic. We have that one, and then I want to look at this one too. This might be sterling as well. No stamp, and it's not magnetic either, so we want to test those. This is definitely sterling, the post and the base. This didn't give anything back. We have a little Canada pin, a little lapel pin. Thank you for the great box, Canada. Here's a barrette strawberries oh i think that goes on there it's loose uh and it's like a scarf clip with that but it doesn't have a brand or anything on it oh we have this <clears throat> it's like the evil eye bracelet these are milk glass beads oh no those are plastic those are plastic the whole bracelet's plastic now these are glass the blue ones are glass, and I think the white ones are plastic. We have this pair of earrings. These are not marked. Let me see, let me check the backs out though. Oh, there's hair. So the backs, this back is says sterling, but this is a different back. Let me see what this back says. Oh, this back is very, 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 very dirty. It says something, but I don't know what it says, and it's very, very dirty. I need to clean it. But in the meantime, I want to check and see if, if these earrings are sterling. So we're going to do a scratchy, scratchy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. I would not have pegged those for sterling. And they totally are. Like this is the, the main part of the um, earring and this is the post. And they're both blue, okay. Here is a hoop. Let's see if this has any marks on it. Oh my gosh, that there's a 14 karat mark right here on the post. I'm gonna double check it. I have not seen a match on that one. I hope I have a match on that one be great but I don't think so but let me just um, do a little scratch mark on it a little scratchy yeah it definitely says 14 karat and there's a maker's mark on it 
And it looks like it's staying on 14. Wow, I'm loving it. I might just, I might just have to go back to Vancouver. I don't know. <laughs> they did say those the bags just go as soon as they get them in the door, that people come in asking for the bags. And I can see why now. Oh, I found a match to that one. I'll have to dig it out. These little ones with a lot of movement. Here's a little mother of pearl, kind of, I don't think that is gold or anything, but we have this little one. Let's see. Oh, that's stamp 925. So that's a sterling. I don't think we have a match on that though. We do have this pair of earrings. I found the pair on that one. Interesting little design, maybe 1970s. No brand. Here's a um, bracelet, adjustable bracelet. This looks like maybe India, maybe, or China. I can't tell from the writing. I'm doubting. Oh yeah, that's very magnetic. Okay. Oh, there's the other match on that smaller size stud. Oh, interesting. There's a dolphin, Canada dolphin. Little dolphin statue. I don't know. Maybe that's a sports team. I'm not really sure. What do my Canadian friends think? What's this? What's this dolphin about? Uh, we have some little flowers. Little flower pan, uh, charm. We have this pair of earrings. It's slightly magnetic. We have this bracelet. That's not magnetic, but that doesn't look sterling. Look at that face on there. It's like a tiki kind of totem pole sort of face. It almost looks like lava rock, which you're not supposed to be having. Mm, interesting. Here's a little, um, maybe a seed bracelet or a wooden bracelet. I do have some little bits and pieces that I think might be gold. That's non-magnetic. Let me check this little ring earring out. Oh, I see. It was an earring and it broke. This little tip is broken that goes in your ear. But I want to test it. And that one's stamped 14 karat. That's a 14 karat freshwater pearl. But I can just do a little scratchy scratchy. And then this is stamped 14 karat. So that's like a white gold. And then the post of this is um, might also be a white gold. I'm going to scratch it because the back was 14 karat and it was that silver color. So we'll see. This one was stamped and that one's staying. So that one's 14. This one is also was also the back was stamped and the post is staying. So that one, these two are 14. And then this is the one that I'm not sure about. That's fading a little bit. Let me do the 10 carat. The 10 carat is in that bottom right corner and it looks like it's staying. So that is a 10 carat hoop. We have this really pretty crystal bracelet. It It is like a little loose on its stretch. So I'm probably just gonna put that in crafts. We have this um, butterfly pendant on a necklace. No markings on that. Rhinestone, very cute. We have this bracelet of a guy, I think he's playing a keyboard. I don't see any markings or anything on that. We have this pretty one, it's a pretty color. And let's see what that says. It says, please, re please return to New York and then some numbers. Almost like a kind of a takeoff on what Tiffany does, I think, but definitely not a Tiffany, uh, but cute nonetheless. We have these, which I thought were kind of cute. We have two dolphins and a frog. These are made from shell. Oh, there we go. Maybe they go that way. These are made from shell. I don't know what that's made of, but I might just put those in crafts. And then we have this interesting like zipper necklace that you can uh, make it longer or shorter.
I can give you a measurement on it too. I think it's 14 inches. So it's really unique. I've never seen one like that before. We have this pretty green one. I like this because it's almost like, it's almost kind of like an asymmetrical look like that. I'll turn it this way so you can see it a little bit better. And uh, there's the clasp up here. Let me give you a measurement on it. It is about 14 inches. I think that might be natural. Let's see if that's natural, a natural stone. Yeah, that's natural stone. It doesn't feel super duper heavy like some natural stone, but it's definitely a natural stone. Very pretty. And then we have this really pretty and unique uh, cross necklace. It does have some wear on it, uh, but it's really unique how it has this, this longer one that hangs and then the cross. I like it. I like it. It kind of reminds me of like old Madonna when she used to wear like crosses and things like that. Interesting style. We have this little, I think it's Elvis, 1935 to 1977. It's an Elvis um, commemorative like charm. And it's stamped RJL Stir, S-T-E-R, which is sterling. And it's in good shape, very shiny still. And then we have this little bitty Eiffel Tower charm. I'm gonna take a peek at it. Oh, it does have a 925 stamp in it. I think it's just tarnished um, from handling it so much. I think it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So, very cute. Here's a pair of stud earrings costume. We have these fun little geometric earrings, enamel. We have these dangle earrings. I think these might be crystal or glass. I don't think they're plastic. They have like kind of a smoky blue color to them. And then I wanna check this last one to see if it's sterling. I just saw it in the pile. Oh, it is, it sure is. It wasn't marked, but I had a hunch about it. So, <laughs> and that's our video. Thanks again, Canada. And thanks for joining me today. If you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button. It's free. <laughs>